The theory that I chose to research was relational dialectics theory. This theory was first proposed by Leslie A. Baxter and Barbara M. Montgomery in 1988. These two women developed the theory to explain how communication creates and constantly changes in close relationships. These women analyzed tensions inherited in romantic relationships and then listed the contradictions voiced by these couples. Now what this theory is, is that it believes that relationships between people, they're constantly changing, there's tensions that will always be in relationships and that's normal, and that good clear communication is necessary to sustain positive and productive interpersonal relationships. It's a theory that is used by relationship counselors, researchers, and mentors to explain, create productive, positive, and happy relationships, according to HelpfulProfessor.com. There are four key elements that go with the relational dialectics theory. First one is contradiction. Contradiction just basically means that, also called tension, um, it's natural in any relationship and that basically two people contradict each other. They don't agree with things. Number two is totality. So what this means and what this is talking about in this type of theory is that we just need to look at all of the tension, not just isolate into one tension on what the problem is. Um, number three is processing. We are looking at the facts that relationships are going to change. There's always going to be changes in relationships. As long as people change and people grow, relationships will change and grow. And then number four is praxis. Praxis just talks about the way that we behave, the way that we react to these certain tensions and how we fix them. According to communicationtheory.org, there is not only the four key elements, but there's also common dialectics in each relationship, openness and closeness, certainty and uncertainty, and connectedness and separateness. All of them, their titles speak for themselves. In the movie This is 40, I really saw a lot of openness and closeness in the relationship. And both the partners, both the parents want an open communication dialogue, but yet they still want their own privacy in a way. And that's what this openness and closeness really talks about. In the movie This is 40, the wife wants an open communication and honesty from her husband about money and about the tensions that the money are bringing to their relationship, but yet the husband wants privacy. He wants his own time and he wants to do what he wants to do. He owns a record shop and, and and he just wants to spend money on getting people there and celebrities there who are no longer big. So they're losing money and he's constantly giving money to his father. And so she just wants an openness about that. And he has a hard time doing that. He doesn't want to fight and he wants to avoid tension. According to talkabouttalk.com, um, this theory really talks about becoming closer to family, friends, or romantic partners, not only involves interdependence on each other, but it also, it also takes independence from each other. And we see this a lot in This is 40. That at the end of the movie, they become closer as a family and they grow and they accept that things aren't perfect, but it's going to be okay. But yet throughout the movie before that, they really want independence from each other. Tensions are really high and not only do the parents need time from each other, but the kids need time from their parents. They have a teenager that they're raising and their kids are growing and they're going through midlife crisis as well. And the tensions between the parents are really affecting the kids. And this theory really unravels throughout the whole movie and really is accurately shown and yet when you look at this theory and break it down in the movie on what it consists of and the key elements, you really see that their relationship and that their communication as a whole has become positively enhanced. And it really helps to understand what relational dialectics theory is. And I really enjoyed researching it and picking This is 40 for that.